Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my everyday makeup. Don't know why I did that. But uh, I'm pretty bored and I want to do my makeup. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to do my makeup. So, let's just jump right into it. I want to apologize if you hear anything in the background. I don't live alone. I am no... I am no makeup guru. I am no makeup expert, but I do enjoy doing makeup. So, what I use to prime my skin is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I'm just gonna prime this. The foundation that I currently have been loving is Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer. Sorry if I'm looking here just my thing is here oh and i'm running out of it so i'm just taking it out but it actually comes with a pump but i'm not using that right now that's kind of a lot but i like full coverage so damp blender honestly it's not even like a beauty blender or like real techniques or anything it's just like a one you can get from marshall's type of blender but whatever I'm going to be honest, I'm not good at matching my foundations. I feel like I've never had a, a foundation that like fits perfectly towards my skin. So, so that one big, um, I usually put, that's good for like one side. And then I will do this. The way that I do my foundation is, I mean, the way that I do my makeup in general is really out of order and like out of, I don't know, I feel like I don't have a good order of doing it. Um, I should have done my eyebrows first, but I went straight in with my foundation. So, I'm going to let my foundation sit so I can do my eyebrows. Meanwhile, this is still sitting on my face. I'm not going to set it yet. I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. I should have done this first, so usually I always do my, eyebrow first, my eyebrows first, but... I just forgot so we're gonna do my eyebrows first or second we're gonna do my eyebrows now okay so my eyebrows are done it doesn't take much to fill them in because I have a lot of eyebrow hair so and oh I didn't mean I meant uh, I forgot to mention the product that I'm using for this is the ColourPop brow pencil brow boss pencil and the color dark brown pretty easy then i'm gonna go in with a morphe brush it's from one of their gold rose gold collections but it's just look at me hold on am i becoming a makeup artist i mean you get it it's the flat top head thing um what i usually do is i just pull out my foundation like this and then just grab a little bit on the brush and I'm gonna underline my eyebrows. Yeah, I just clean it up on the bottom. I don't go on the top. Okay, so now we're gonna do a concealer. I told you guys this before, I'm not good with finding shades so I kinda have to mix things. Um, this i'm mixing two concealers which is the elf hydrating camo concealer in the color tan sand and the maybelline fit me in the color sand so this is really dark yellow and this is really too light so i mix both of them um so let me show you guys so the darker one i keep them closer to my dark circles because i feel like this has really good coverage and then with the maybelline i go over it like this and i bring it all the way down like this like that so i just go in this is i think a real text a real technique beauty blender it's a really tiny small one i think it's from real techniques if not it's just the small one and I just use that to blend my nose and um, the chin, upper lip, all of that. And now for my under eyes, I don't use the beauty blender. If you guys struggle with this, but I feel like every time I use a beauty blender underneath my eyes, it takes away product and I don't get the coverage that I want. So I use the Morphe M173 brush. It looks like this. 
it's like a really chunky little round brush no a chunky little i don't know whatever it's a chunky brush and um the girl at the morphe store told me this is really good for concealer and so what i just do is i blend it and what i like is that it keeps the coverage underneath my eyes it doesn't take away like i like the blenders and that's what i need because i found myself so many times using a beauty blender or any sponge and it just takes away everything and i feel like you can see my dark circles So one thing about my eyelids, I have really oily eyelids. So usually with any remaining product, I'll bring onto my eyelids. But I don't, I used to put concealer up here. But I've noticed that I get really oily. Even with a little bit, I'll get really oily. But I do want some coverage on my eyelids as well. So whatever is left on this brush, I will bring over to my eyelids just to blend everything up here. What I use for um, setting powder is the cover fx perfect setting powder i don't really have a preference on setting powders honestly so i just do this and i try to do this as quickly as i can because my um yes <laughs> i try to do this as quickly as i can because my i have a lot of lines underneath my eyes and those my concealer sets into those lines so i know some people like to bake underneath their eyes all i do is i just grab powder and i'll just put it there if a lot comes off then a lot of are there if not then no and then i also set my eyelids because they are extremely oily now we're going to go into bronzer the bronzer that i have been using is butter bronzer by physicians formula and this is the deep bronzer looks like this and yes it does smell like coconuts you can put it on pretty heavy but it will come off very easily and it blends really nicely so you guys might think right now that i'm putting a lot on but you'll see it gives you a really nice bronze so i just bring it here i do lift up my hair because i don't want my bronzer just to stop right here like i want to blend it back so i somewhat blend it into my hairline it just blends pretty nicely and i honestly stop like around here but once it gets here this is where it kind of mixes really nicely with my blush and then i don't get as much product but i get a little bit more and then i will do i'll pinch my brush and I will just go all around down here. Try to cover that double chin as much as I can. I, so that's what I do for bronzer. Then for blush and highlight. I love this because it has highlighter and, bron uh, highlighter and blush in here. So this is the NARS Hot Triest Cheek Palette. I don't know. But this is how it looks on the inside. Clearly, you can tell what I have been using. So, this is the shade down here that I usually use for my blush. And this is the shade that I use for my highlight. What I like about this highlight, it's like a rose gold highlight. And lately, I have been really into rose gold highlights. So, that's what I've been doing. The brush that I use, I got in a boxy charm. It's called Aesthetica H22. It just looks like this it's really long and fluffy and what i like to do is dip into here now the blush on here is not matte it does have a little bit of a highlight which i like i like everything glowy so i just do that i think this is all common sense and the highlighter brush that i use which is this one is the morphe m5110 wait no morphe 510 the Morphe M510, M510. And then I just go in with this here. I love highlighter. Some days I, I have my matte days where I just wear matte makeup, but I really like highlighter. So we're just gonna go in with this. So put on the nose, bridge of the nose. I'm not really precise in this area. Wherever I feel like I wanna look glowy, I will put. So yes, on my forehead. Um, just to put some emphasis into my eyes and I kind of just 
put a little bit of eyeshadow on. I get the same bronzer that I use. So you can do this with whatever bronzer you're using. And this is also another brush from the Morphe Rose Gold Collection. But these don't have numbers on them. So it's just, just a blending brush, okay? It's nothing too fancy. And I just rub this on my eyelid and in my crease. I'm not precise at all. I honestly just do this just to add a little bit of color. Okay, now that that is done, we are gonna go in with our eyelash curler and put on mascara. Curler, I'm gonna mention this because I could tell you that it's just an eyelash curler, but I feel like this eyelash curler has really changed my game on curling my eyelashes. This is the Tweezer Man eyelash curler. I got this for my job, it was only like $9. Um, but I feel like this works the best. This is the best eyelash curler that I have purchased. So if you're looking for a really good one, if you feel like yours goes really dull easily, or if it just doesn't have that tension that really curls your eyelashes and defines them, I would say try to pick up this one because it works really good. So let's go ahead and do that. And I know some people go straight to the root. I like to build my way down. So I'll go to the top of my eyelashes, pinch there, and then just work my way down. I feel like this gives me a longer lasting curl than just going straight to the root and pointing them all up. Okay, so now that my eyelashes are curled, this I'm gonna go in with mascara. The mascara that I use is L'Oreal Telescopic, and this is their waterproof mascara. So let me just give a trip, uh, a tip to the ladies that your eyelashes are always falling with regular mascara I don't know why I don't know why it always falls mine does I cannot use a regular mascara I have to use waterproof mascara um, but I read a tip on Google I searched Google like why does my eyelashes keep falling and they just said try waterproof mascara and waterproof mascara has changed my game but yes it does take more of a longer process to take off but I love how it looks it keeps my eyelashes curled and it does its job it's not they're not constantly falling like within an hour so waterproof mascara and this is the l'oreal telescopic but honestly any waterproof mascara works really nice next um i don't do like brow pomade or sorry like a brow top a uh, clear coat or anything I actually use my mascara to set my brows and kind of keep them and give them that feathery look I just have been liking it I feel like it gives my eyebrows a little bit more definition so I go very lightly and I brush over them and because this is waterproof I feel like it keeps my eyebrows more into place than a regular brow uh, what do they call it? like a brow brush or whatever it is I don't know whatever it's called you can see all of the strokes of my eyelash uh my eyebrow hairs i like that look and mascara is what gives it at least in my opinion mascara is what does it for me so then i just take a regular um i just take a regular makeup wipe just to wipe off all of the powder and as of lately my favorite lip combo has been the morphe lip pencil in spiffy and then the NYX soft matte lip cream in London now I don't put much of this on I just do my bottom lip and then rub them together and then I'll just go in like in the top corners it's a natural look that's it we're done okay so i just went and i curled my hair and i'm just gonna be very honest i feel like my camera washed me out a lot in this video i am not this like complected um i just don't know why there we go let me zoom you guys in a little bit we're gonna say goodbye this way so i don't look so washed out goodbye thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys and I don't know, I, it's pretty basic, so I don't think you really learned anything, but thank you so much. If you like these videos, please feel free to subscribe. It's free. It's a free service. and <laughs> Free service. It's a free button. And let me know what else you guys would like to see. See you guys later.